Hi you guys, welcome back to my garden. In today's video, we're gonna make a quick run to Sherwood's Forest because we have to pick up those plants so we can start planting up for the fall. So I'm at Starbucks right now. I'm getting ready to grab me some coffee and then we're gonna hit the road. All right, so we got our coffee order in. So what I wanna do now is let's get the coffee and then we'll head over there to the garden center. That way we can see what all they have out there because he's been posting a lot of things over on his Instagram channel, but also he posted that he had some mushroom compost, buy one, get one free. And you know, it ain't no way I was gonna let something like that bypass me. guys look at the color in this mom and this is how i like to get my moms where you can kind of see what the bloom is going to be like but i'm loving these shades here so i think we are going to get this mom right here and it is on sale just look at that so let's grab these right here one more right there so I'm going to get that one as well and this one you guys absolutely gorgeous these pansies you guys and what I like is you're getting the pansies in a size that's already big so let's look around and see what different pansy varieties they have because you guys i am obsessed with these these are just absolutely gorgeous just gorgeous we're ready to get the patio completely planted up for the fall so we went to Sherwood's Forest and they had so many beautiful things just in bloom still you guys they literally still had hydrangeas with white blooms on them and they also have the little line punch from proven winners new for 2022 in case you're in the st louis region and you're looking for them they have them at sherwood's forest nursery now let me get in close and show you guys some of the beauties that i snagged now this is not everything that i picked up you guys i wanted to pull out what i was using for the patio now you guys i love the fact that they had these beautiful artisan pumpkins 
and the thing that really caught my eye that really just made me just stop dead in my tracks you guys was these mums I try to look for mums that you're not going to see everywhere. We all see the cranberries. We all see the pinks and the mobs. And yes, I'm a fan of all of those because I always put some form of yellow mum in my garden and I also use some form of cranberry mum in my garden every single year. Those are staples to me. But you guys, when I see these mums here, they stop me dead in my tracks. Now... We're going to be planting up these big pots over here. And I'm really excited because, one, I had to condense the area because they have to be able to get up to my patio in order to fix that piece of siding that blew off with the heavy wind. But then in addition to that, I have to be able to come in and service our AC unit and tuck it away for the winter time. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get these babies potted up. But you guys, I just only showed you a small little piece. A small little piece of what's going into these containers. Now, let me show you guys the... Mm. Yes, we're going to be popping these big sisters inside of these containers. And when we get done, they're going to be gorgeous. Now, it is getting a little bit cold. Go ahead and hand me my coat. Because, baby, we're about to rock this clean on out. Do you hear me? We ain't got no time for the weather or nothing. Or Nathaniel. We ain't got time for nothing to be stopping us today, honey. Because we're about to plant up this area. And I am just... Ooh, excited about it because we're gonna set a whole vibe over here on this patio now let's go ahead and let's get started boys bought these topiary poodles for me for Mother's Day. So, I really have not done a lot of trimming on them because I want them to fill out. But, I can see that I have some pieces that are starting to get really long. So, what I'm going to do is just slightly come in and just barely trim that back. And just kind of just trim it. Um, so, that way you can really see the shape. And then I'll go more aggressive in the springtime. So just by just barely going in, just touching the surface, you can really trim these up. But I'm definitely looking forward to next spring where I'll have a real good show with these. And then by then, my uh, arbs will have put on uh, some growth.
We worked late into the night last night and then it was time to go in, start preparing for the next day, eat dinner, so on and so forth. I have a few more things that I need to put in place. So I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my mums in order to get my mums to bloom through the remainder of the season. Now, you can do these for your mums if they are in containers, more so in containers, um, where you just take the nursery pot and just plop it down. You know, you pay a little bit more extra money for that decorative pot and you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to source out your own concrete pot, your own terracotta pot, so on and so on. But I use the same method when I'm actually planting them inside the soil because with mums, you want to make sure that mums do not dry out. That's how you get that continuous bloom. I'm not using a decorative nursery pot. What I will do then is I will take my mums and I will soak them the day before planting. And then when I go in to do my usual watering for my containers and they're fine and they continuously bloom throughout the season. So let's go ahead and prep those and I'll show you what everything is looking like. I don't know if you're excited to see what the finished result of this area was, but if you are, drop down in those comments and let me know. Let's go over here, let's prep the mums. I have everything set up, we'll get them in their place and then I'll show you what this area looks like in full force. guys think like thoughts let me know what you guys think about this area i am totally obsessed so let's take it back to this window box and i'll show you how i tie everything in silver and blue window box giving us those blue shades those green shades and then you also have the white shining through but also you have those pansies just slightly peeking out in between all of the foliage that we have for our autumn our fall color here on the patio and if you look at the pansy you see you have the purple you have the pale kind of like deep yellow as it fades but then you also have that mauve color that mauvey kind of like pink so when i seen these moms i knew that it would be perfect now i had already planned to go in and use a lot of foliage a lot of textures for the fall so we have our primo wild 13 peach berry ice hookara or coral bells you guys and those shades of like that mauvey peach color you can see the burgundy undertones just coming through and shining completely picks up the pink and the mauve completely ties our window box in i use the ornamental cabbage with the purple undertones and you can pick up those deep purple hues and you can also see the pink veining as well Play with the color tones and put the green back in this area i wanted the window box and i wanted the concrete urns to be independent of the understory here so that way they play nicely together and when you look in this area you're drawn 
in by all of these deep dark colors still drawing your eye in it's still tying everything together and doing such it ties everything nicely together so it doesn't look like everything's mismatched and hodgepodge which in some variations in some situations there is nothing wrong with that but i wanted everything to play nicely to marry together so these spirals really should be placed in the ground but you can use them in a container as well you guys they have a nice big barrel where it's a lot of soil insulating the root ball my juniper poodles here i did not pull those out they overwinter in these same containers last season and as you guys can see they made it through the winter and we had some days which really got really extremely cold now i'm not gonna say i was not in there biting my nails but they made it through and that's because typically in order for you to overwinter a plant in a container you want to give yourself a two zone stretch so if it's zone three then you want to at least be in zone five the hookahs are hardy down to a zone four i believe don't quote me but i will put the information down in the description box you guys also i want to say because we're getting ready to close the video we are taking a vote over on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure to give me a follow at the underscore garden queen over on Instagram. Now we took a vote, have it up in the air if we're going to do a obelisk or obelisk obelisk however you want to say it however you pronounce it so we are going to vote on if we're going to give away a obelisk for our next giveaway you guys so i definitely want you guys to have a chance to win because we will be boxing that off and sending that off over here on the channel so if you i'm going to put the link to my instagram down below in the uh comment section go over there give me a follow and then you'll know i'll go ahead and i'll put the vote back up for another 24 hours if we're going to give an obelisk away so right now it's an overwhelming yes Once i decide which one we're going to be giving away then you guys can head over there to the instagram page and then participate and do whatever instructions it says to do up underneath the picture that we're going to have so make sure you give us a follow over there but you guys i am obsessed baby yes honey give me those autumn vibes baby we are definitely getting it together and special shout out to Sherwood's Forest, you guys, over in St. Louis, just strictly off the fact that y'all carry the bomb.com plants. So if you don't know about Sherwood's Forest, baby, you better get over there because you see what I came back with, honey. All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye.